snitch man. Okay, it was me, but don't feel sorry for him. He was a snitch. Because of the filthy dudes, my wife and many innocent people are in prison. He's very passionate about this, isn't he? The sick government turns people against each other. They offer a few pennies for somebody's head. For those who succumb, Blood Fist only has one penalty. Okay. Well, now, you know what? I am willing to cover up your uh, malfeasance because I support the revolution. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby and today we are back in Contraband Police. Now, hilariously, I was just trying to actually tweak the settings and give myself... A 75 minute long day instead of a 45 minute long day and the instant I tried to do it we ended up getting a phone call so now I'm stuck and I didn't get to do the usual intro that we do where we come out of the trailer and say you know hey everybody thanks stop by blah 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 but that is fine this is actually the first guy out of the gate this morning and I think oh god I think I actually only checked his name and then the phone went off okay speaking of the phone let's go answer the phone and see what the hell is going on Ladies and gentlemen, the ringing of that phone bell means mystery, adventure. What do you want? Ah, okay, it's the murder case. Yeah, 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 cases usually handled by Soraka and yada, yada, yada. Okay, could you stop talking so I can, please? Thank you. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting, because I'm not sure how we're going to solve the murder... And still actually support the rebellion. I mean, maybe we catch the guy, but then we let him go? I don't know. Well, we'll find out in a minute anyway. Yeah, thank you, Kov... What's your name? Kowalski. All right, well, thank you, Kowalski. Yeah, good morning, truck guy. Uh, okay, to the drunken barian we go. Boys, I am here. Let the investigation begin. Okay, let's stop. Yeah, we're CSI Akaristan, apparently. Okay, engine off, me out. Talk to the sergeant, check. Comrade, it's good that you were here. The body was found by a cleaner in the back of the building. We secured the area. There are six suspects. They were here at the time of the murder. Check all the clues and come back to me. Nobody will leave this place without your permission. Okay. You said the guy got killed out back. I have to interrogate the suspects, search the body, find the murder weapon. Poor boy, he's been there for a few hours. Oh, no, sorry, I should look you in the eyes when you're speaking. I think we should search the body first and then find the murder weapon. It's good that you have your UV flashlight with you. Yeah, never leave home without it. Okay, let's search the body. What do you got, dude? You have a watch. With the initials VM. Alright, I'll take that off of you. Okay, interrogate the suspects, find the murder weapon. Alright, well he said use the UV flashlight. Oh, hello, lots and lots of blood. Okay. Oh, hello, we got a trail of blood we can follow. So the guy that murdered him wasn't exactly... I mean, you'll have to forgive the pun here, but like trying to cover his tracks <laughs> yeah you don't have to be Nancy Drew to figure this one out okay the tracks have officially ended at a kitchen knife most likely comes from the kitchen oh hold that thought no that's not what I want to do I want to click the inventory can I actually keep the bloody knife kitchen knife most likely comes from Ian's kitchen all right I'm gonna assume I can't because it's got no uh, like health bar on it like the other knife does kind of a shame really it would have been nice to have a free knife okay suspects here I come there's the titular drunken bear so we got that guy over there that guy there the bartender and we got that dude and the dude walking around all right well my friend we will start with you hello Timur Korchenko 
The guy's got me here by force. I was supposed to stay home on my sick dad. He's been feeling worse lately. Okay. I find the cleaner very suspicious. He watched us strangely all evening and tried to eavesdrop. Alright, well, we'll talk to the cleaner. Hello, Jagor. What do you got to say? Yesterday we overdid it on the booze, but there was a lot to celebrate. Oleg was happy with his promotion, and then he even wanted to clear some debt for me. Okay, so Oleg Ojimani. I have no idea who wanted him. Uh, who would have wanted Oleg dead? There we go. Yes, Digby, you can English. Alright, bartender, what do you got to say? Yesterday evening, some guys from the butcher shop came to throw back a few. Nothing special until the cleaner came to tell me what he found in the back. He was pale as a ghost. Okay, so the cleaner found the body. Yeah, 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 you can quit yelling at me in foreign. Alright, how about you, my friend? What do you got to say? Vassal Morin, I assume that was your watch I found. When Oleg kicked as out, I felt like killing him. This watch has been in my family for generations. Alright, well, how did he get it? I may have said more than I should have, but I would never hurt the dingo. Better talk to Timur, he's been acting weird since yesterday. Alright, well, I have to talk to the cleaner first. Alright, you're. I think you're Timur, right? Yeah, you're Timur. So he said I should talk to you because you've been acting suspicious. Hello, Nikita. What do you have to contribute? We're here to celebrate Oleg's promotion. We've been working together for 10 years. I can't believe he's dead. Oh, he's dead. I've seen him. Trust me. He's extremely dead. I'm sure that dude Sahayev killed him. Oleg had a lot of debt to repay. Okay, so you're saying he did it. He's saying he did it. And he said the cleaner did it. It was weird. When I tried to take out the trash, it turned out that the warehouse door was locked and the keys were gone. So whoever's got the keys is probably the killer. I went around and found the body. Earlier I saw that the one who was dead had a fight with a guy in a beret while playing cards. Okay, now talk to the sergeant. Gotcha. Hey, what's my decision? What do you mean? I can let Sehev and Marin go. I can release the bartender and Petrovsky. Timor and the cleaner. Alright, well, half of them said the cleaner did it. Half of them said that, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Who was the other guy? Okay, what do we got? Timor and the cleaner, Petrovsky and the bartender. Alright, who the hell is Petrovsky? I'll be right back. I gotta figure out who he is. Okay, you're Korchenko. You're Sayahev. You were the cap, somebody named you. You're Marin. Alright, you didn't actually get it. Okay, so Petrovsky was the guy that nobody actually mentioned. And I'm pretty sure the bartender didn't kill him, because you got to stay behind the bar the whole time you're there. So you know what, dude? Let's let the bartender and Petrovsky go, please. Okay, locate the venue in the garden area. We were able to determine that the death occurred around 7 a.m. According to the cleaner, our guests left the building moments earlier. They could not have gone far look for signs of the party in the garden. You know what? This looks like somewhere where the party happened. Okay, I thought something was going to pop up and talk to me, but it didn't. Now it just says interrogate the suspect, so shouldn't I actually look around and see what's going on? Apparently we start with you, my friend. So, what do you got to say about the party? What were you doing at 7 a.m.? We were sitting under the gazebo and the booze ran out. Timo went to the bar to get a bottle and Oleg had to go to the toilet behind the building because the one in the bar was closed. Okay. So Timor and Oleg both left the party at the exact same time. Jagor fell asleep and I was alone with Nikita. Well, that means you have an alibi. Okay, Jagor, what about you? In the morning, Timor suggested that they move outside. I barely made it to the gazebo. I blacked out on the spot. That would be pretty hard to fake, so I'm going to guess you're okay. When I woke up, Oleg was gone, but we had something to drink again. Alright, well, I'm going to guess if Timor and Oleg left and only Timor came back, he's probably guilty. And that's fine. We'll still chat with everybody else. Hey, Cleaner, what do you got to say? When the guests moved to the mansion around 6, they left a terrible mess. Went out for a cigarette and saw one of the guests walk into the back of the building. I think they call him Timur. 
Robotnik on Gavrich Yevo Timur. Yeah, suspicion is definitely falling pretty heavy on Timur over here. All right, Timur, where were you at 7 a.m. and why did you leave with the other dude? When I went to get the bottle, I saw the cleaner walking behind the building. He looked like he was trying to hide something under his clothes. Oh, I'd say, it, dude, I think you're lying. Okay, talk to the sergeant. So, who are we going to let go this time, I wonder? Okay, let's release Sayahev and Marin, or Timor and the Cleaner. You know what? Timor blame the Cleaner. Everybody else says it's Timor. Let's let Sayahev and Marin go. Okay, search the storage. We finally managed to open a warehouse. You can look around there now. Don't see much of anything over here. Oh, hello, there's a note. Suspicious letter. Commander, as per your order, I figured out Oleg Bogdanov, and I confirm his connections with the KGP. Hi, kitten. Hello, hold on one second. Okay, very difficult to maintain your train of thought when a kitten is very gently tapping you on the arm with her paw. Anyway, yes, I found out Oleg Bogdanov, and I confirm his connections with the KGP. Snitch will die today. Long live Freya Karistan Timor. All right, so Timor is the bad guy. Well, let's go arrest him. Ooh, actually, we're pro-revolution, so you know what? Let's let him go. Okay, it was me, but don't feel sorry for him. He was a snitch. Because of the filthy dudes, my wife and many innocent people are in prison. He's very passionate about this, isn't he? Sick government turns people against each other. They offer a few pennies for somebody's head. For those who succumb, Blood Fist only has one penalty. Okay. Well, now, you know what? I am willing to cover up your uh, malfeasance because I support the revolution. What? Are you letting me go? Bloodfist will not forget you. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. The evidence you presented clearly points to the perpetrator of the murder. When Sergeant Bykov handcuffs the cleaner, the tearful one tries to influence your decision. He faces a long and hard sentence, but you know it's necessary for the good of the rebellion. Okay, I really don't feel all that great about that one. Mission complete, 800 bucks. Thank you very much. Let's get back to work. All right, my dude, I am very sorry we get interrupted, and I have a sneaking feeling I'm going to have to start over, so can I have your documents again, please? Thank you. Just yesterday I crossed the border, and they're already dragging me back to some social cleaning? It's absurd. Okay, are you done yelling at me, please? Okay, picture matches, more or less. Okay, your name is Martin Morozov. Martin Morozov, Martin Morozov, Martin Morozov. And we got UG1N, UG1N, 8S34, 8S34. 1st of June is legit. 20th of August is legit. I'm trying to remember the dirtbag board. I think the guy I'm looking for is... Okay, we got 47, red vehicle, 7Z0. All right, is your license number a 7Z0? It is not. Your vehicle is not red, and you are not 47. Okay. Now, it says you're in a Zaga 53 at 4240. You are at 4240 is legit. I can't remember if that's a Zaga or not, but we can find out quickly enough. So Zaga 53, yes, you are in a Zaga. Okay, so that's all good. Says you're hauling sand. You are definitely hauling sand. You won't mind though if I uh, check it for contraband, will you? Okay, where's my shovel? And then, okay, shovel is in number five. Please leave me alone. No, sorry, dude. I gotta check your dirt. Well, yeah, Alright, I can stop now. Your dirt's fine. Let's just put that away. I'll shut your tailgate. Sorry, Mike, you don't have anything to put away. Alright, what do we got? So, that's legit. That's all legit. And pretty much everything so far is passed. I can't remember what the entry regulations are, though. Okay, three technical defects. Uh, technically, four technical defects or up. You cannot come in. So, inspection time, dude. You have got one flat tire. Check. Actually, I should check all of them, shouldn't I? <laughs> okay, you got one flat tire, and then we got broken windows, broken lights. Lights on the front are legit. Lights on the back are legit. You've got one, two windows are solid. That one looks good. That one's okay. These two are fine. So no broken windows, no broken lights. And we got missing mirrors. Nope, got all your mirrors. Bumpers and bodywork. You are missing a bumper. 
And I think I saw two... Nope, you are missing one bodywork. Alright, let me just check, make sure your back bumper's on there and everything's okay. You do have your back bumper. Alright, well, dude, you have exactly three D-picks, which means I cannot think of a legitimate reason to keep you out of the country. Oh, please tell me I counted right. Ding, I absolutely did 160 bucks. That one's perfect. Alright, next guy, come on down. Alright, hello my friend. Do you have a 7Z0? You do not, nor are you in a red car. Good day, comrade commander. Good day, my fine fellow. Can I have your paperwork? My brother got a color TV. All the neighbors will probably come watch the coverage of the games. <laughs> yeah, don't count on it, dude. Are right, you done harping now? Thank you. So, picture matches. We got Alexa J. Okay, Alexa J. Stepanov. Alexi J. Stepanov. Alexi J. Stepanov. And we got 6N2X, 6N2X, J3L4, J3L4 is good. 13 June is legit, 6 May is legit, you were born in 24, so your birth date doesn't matter. Then we got UNH4786VF. I have a sneaking feeling I didn't check the license plate on that last truck. <laughs> okay, UNH4786VF is good. ZOM72 at 2030, you are in. Well, you're at 1480. Are you in an Azam, whatever the hell it is? I have a sneaking feeling you probably are, but better safe than sorry, Digby. All right, I'm looking for the Azam. That is an Azam. That is all good. Let me make sure I got my snake flashlight on, just in case you decide to get, like, sneaky. Oh, we're actually still doing paperwork. All right, book goes away. You got no cargo. Everything is legit. I mean, unless you are a sneaky smuggler, and I will check just in case... Oh, hold on, we gotta do the inspection as well. Alright, you got two broken lights. I got that one right off the bat. Uh, Alright, what is it? Oh, I can't remember the inspection list. You think I would by now. Alright, flat tires, windows, lights. You've got... No flat tires. Your windows actually all look... Pretty good. So windows are fine. But you do have two broken lights. Okay, two broken lights, check. And then mirrors, bumpers, bodywork. Got both your mirrors. Got all your bodywork. Both your bumpers. Am I really going to get two people in a row that are allowed to come in? Alright, well, congratulations, dude. Yeah, I didn't ask him to step out of the vehicle. Look at me learning how to do things. Yeah, congratulations, dude. You're in. Okay, can we get two in a row? We got two in a row. Perfect. Uh, what are the odds we're going to be able to keep this up? Okay, you do not have a 7Z0. Um, Alright, yes, can I have your paperwork, please? Tahak Matuda. Yeah, thank you. Of course, sir, here you go. You're awfully enthusiastic, and that makes me suspicious right off the bat. Alright, your picture matches. We got Barakat Sahin, Barakat Sahin, Barakat Sahin, Barakat Sahin. 52P4, 52P4, P8K4, P8K4 is good. 23 no uh sorry 23 november is legit i can talk honestly then 8 june is not expired you're here for a visit you're in a micros 26d at 990 i don't have to look that one up i already know that one you are under the 990 okay then we've got uh, isw 2630yr isw 2630yr so your license plate is legit all right, well, dude, if your cargo passes and the inspection passes, you're going to be my third in a row. Yeah, I'll be careful with it, dude. It's all good. Okay, three luggage, two cement. So one, two, three luggage. One, two cement. I don't see any snakes on anything. I don't see anything evil in anything. Mike, dude, you finally get to do something. And I thank you. All right, so it's three and two. That matches your cargo. Oh, wait a minute. Cement two, luggage three, cement two, luggage three. Okay, yes, your cargo list actually matches. All right, well, dude, let's go see if you can be the third one in a row. 
All right, flat tires. You got two. Uh oh, you're getting very close to the uh, limit of three. Okay, two flat tires. Then we got broken windows, broken lights. You got one broken light, one broken window. All right. Well, I'm sorry to say this, dude. In spite of everything being almost perfect, you're not coming in. Okay, you actually got two broken lights. I probably should have waited till I was done checking the entire car. Whoops, before I did that. All right, two broken lights. Let's just make sure we didn't miss any more windows. All right, get your inspection report back out. Yeah, you got two broken lights, and you got mirrors, bumpers, bodywork. Mirrors are fine. Reasonably certain I saw both bumpers. Bodywork's all good. Okay, well, I really do feel bad about this one, my friend, but you do not qualify under the entry regulations, which means you gotta go. All right, boss man, you still happy with me? You are absolutely still happy with me, and that is three perfects in a row. Okay, I didn't quite catch your license plate number there, dude. I was actually looking at my phone. Okay, your license number is legit. You're not in a red vehicle, and hopefully you weren't born in 1936. Can I see your paperwork, please? Yes, it's necessary. I haven't caught any dirtbags yet today, and I'm starting to get a little antsy. Okay, picture... Matches. Varlik Stasu... Hold on, can we haggle a little? I don't have anything to sell you, dude. Okay, Varlik Stasiuk. Varlik Stasiuk. Varlik... Oh, that's Varjik. Okay, you're not coming in on the basis of your name. Then we got Z0SQ, Z0SQ, 69, F5, 69, S5 is legit. We got 14 May is not expired, 7 April is expired, so I'm going to get you for your expiration date. That's two in a row. Alright, where were we? Um, okay, we did that, we did that, we did that. Oh, wait a minute, you were born in 1937, and that is the actual date I'm looking for. So, you just earned... An in-depth inspection. Okay, I'm not seeing anything there. Nothing on the tire. Just check your glove box really quick. Don't see anything in plain sight. I'm very tempted to ask you to step out of the vehicle. Let's have a quick peek at the cargo. I don't see anything on it, but it wouldn't be on the side. It would be on the back. Okay, rear bumper is fine. Ah, uh, nope. Crouch button I wanted. That tire looks good. That tire looks good. Okay, well, I mean, if you're my smuggler, you've got it hidden pretty bloody well. Okay, let's actually... Oh, uh, license number. B-E-U-57... Oh, 5657... Oh, for God's sakes, dig day. Okay, B-E-U-5657-K-Y. B-E-U-5657-K-Y. So, license number is fine. Now, uh, Azar V2890, you are in... Oh, you are just barely in range. Now, are you in an Azar V? I think you might be, you know. Okay, Azar V, you are in an Azar V. Okay, well, you are surprisingly clean for a suspicious guy, but we haven't done your cargo yet, so we shall see. Alright, what do we got? We've got? Oh, you know what? Let's just actually make sure the flashlight is on. It is. Okay, so we got one, two, three barrels, no symbols. One, two, three drugs, still no snakes. One, two, three, four, five, six cement, and they all look clean. But one, two, three, four, five, six more cement also looks clean. They got one, two, three, four bags of whatever this crap is, and I do not see anything suspicious on any of it. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to think he might be a red herring. Mike, do your thing, please. Hmm? All right, well, red herring guy, still doesn't mean you're going to pass the inspection. So you've got, uh, actually, hold that thought. Let's do it in order. Okay, close the book, dig the inspection report. Tires, windows, lights, you have got... Shut the door, shut that door. Okay, tires are good. Windows, got one broken window. Make sure I don't miss one again. Okay, one broken window. Check. Broken lights, you've got... None on the front, but I'm pretty sure I saw one on the back. Okay, you got one broken light. Check. 
And then mirrors, bumpers, bodywork. You got the front bumper, your bodywork's all good. You appear to have both mirrors, both bumpers. Okay, well, dude, if you're a smuggler, you got away with it, but you were still not coming in. Okay, please tell me I got that one right. Please tell me I got it right. 160, got it spot on, and that is another perfect, which means if we can get this one guy here, we will actually be five for five for the day. And you know what? That looks like a seven, a Z, and a zero. So, dude, step out of the vehicle and take a seat on the curb. Thought I told you to take a seat. All right, well, this guy is definitely a smuggler, so I'm not even gonna bother with any of the inspection crap. Let's just go see. Whoops, crouch button, Digby. Haha, <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, let's go see if we can find the contraband. And that only took about two seconds. No, Digby, knife you want. Okay, contraband found. Uh, hold that thought. What are you doing, dude? Uh, will you stop pushing the cargo button? I want to arrest this guy quickly before he runs away. Sorry. Okay, welcome to the jail. Hello, whoever you are, you just said hello to me. Let's make sure we have storage room. If it weren't for the nosy cop, I'd probably be having fun with the girls in the Red Lantern. <laughs> Actually, if it wasn't for your uh, complete and utter lack of smuggling ability, you'd be having fun right now. All right, let's get back to it. Front bumper appears to be clean. This tire actually has something in it. So, tire number two. All right, gas tank's clean. Wow, do you have something in every single tire? I mean, honestly, dude, if you're going to smuggle crap into the country, you probably ought to go, like, whole hog on it. Yep, every single tire was naughty. And I thank you. Oh, yeah, as I was saying, you probably should go, like, a little bit nuts and, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, bring in a ton of stuff. Okay, now, cab. Nothing on the seat. Engine. Oh, that seat is really, really dirty. Okay, I see a little something, something hiding in there. So let's, if I can grab it, grab that. Okay, nothing else in the engine bay. Uh, you don't have any sun visors, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, bottom of seat, back of seat. Are you all going to pile up in the same spot? You are. Excellent. Now, is there anything behind the seats? Nothing on the passenger side, and nothing on the driver's side. Okay. Oh, hello, you have a cow. And that does not look like a real cow. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother to take this thing out. I am just going to hit it with an axe right where we're standing. Whoops, that is not an axe, Digby. That's an axe. Sorry, Bessie. Okay, where did it go? Ah, okay, it's up on the back. All right, now, that tire doesn't have anything in it. We checked the fuel tanks. We checked everything else. Let's just make sure... Like, we didn't miss... It. Oh, for God's sakes. Will you work out what the crouch button is already? Yeah, let's just make sure we didn't miss anything else. All right, Mike, I think I got everything, so get this crap out of here. Inspection complete 120. I actually missed something. All right, no, I want this button. Hold on, hold on. Stop yelling at me. I need to know what the audit was. Under the dashboard? Oh, crap. All right, well, as you were saying, boss, go have some rest. we got a lot to do tomorrow, and I wholeheartedly concur, but first, I've actually got to store my contraband, and then I want to do a couple of upgrades. Lodging 2, that's 1300 I think I said I wanted to upgrade that, so yes, please, can I please improve my house? Okay, still looks like crap, but you know what? It's better than what we had. All right, now we've got 1200 bucks left. Can we spend it on anything? Okay, we can upgrade a cop. We've already got uh, two out of the two, three, four of them upgraded. So who do we want to upgrade? We've got Repnin, Moscovich, we like you. Novik is Officer Numpty. He's going to be the last one to get an upgrade. And you. Okay, so we're either going to do a cop or we're going to do a vehicle. We can upgrade our crappy van for 600 bucks. 
Is that going to make it any faster? It is going to make it considerably faster. Okay. Upgrade the van, please. That leaves me with 600 bucks, which is just enough to pay the bills if I screw up everything in the next episode. And now let's go check out our new digs. Okay, do I really have dirty laundry out here? Well, I mean, technically it would be clean laundry if it's hanging on the clothesline, but... <laughs> okay, well, yep, there's my skivvies. Can I... No, I cannot interact with that. Alright, well, hopes are high then. So, let's see what we got. Okay, this place actually looks just as crappy as everywhere else we've ever lived. I mean, I was really expecting, like, a clean wallpaper, if nothing else. Alright, well, that's fine. Is there actually anything written on the calendar? April 29th. Is that accurate? It is. Okay, so the calendar actually keeps track of the days. That's cool. But, yeah, other than the very crappy radio, I don't see anything actually that we got as a benefit for upgrading. In fact, it kind of sucks because I can no longer stand out the door and do the outro unless I want to look at my underwear for the whole time. Okay, well... As always, I've been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Contraband Police. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one. Oh, yeah.